Uh, Java, tell us uh, more about uh, the Hazara community, why they are killed, and their demands, and what the government's response has been. Well, this is not the first time that such killing has taken place in the past. Unfortunately, similar incident happened and we witnessed similar protest by the Hazara community. Uh, it was a tragic, it was a gruesome killing and very uh, different dynamics of the killing this time around is that the Daesh terrorists have put the killing incident uh, on online. Uh, that suggests that probably they want to provoke more violence, they want to in, in, incite violence in Pakistan. And though it has a, also a local sectarian dimension, because this, these kind of incidents have the sectarian roots in parts of Pakistan's southern, uh, southern uh, uh, Blochistan province, but there is a bigger picture. And the bigger picture in the past is that the India has been involved in similar incidents of the violence, of which it was of obviously sectarian nature. In, in Karachi, Pakistan's mega port city, there were similar incidents and later on security forces uh, found out that the India was behind it. Uh, one of the political party known as MQM, its Altaf Hussain wing was behind it. Uh, it was used by the Indian. But now in, there is a different dimension now. This, uh, this Daesh is basically is a transnational uh, terrorist group. They are moving back and forth to, to, to Afghanistan uh, from Balochistan province, which has a, it's a shared border with Afghanistan. Mm -hmm. And then, unfortunately, Israel has been behind in similar incidents in that part of Pakistan. It operates very secretly. It is trying to send a, an indirect message to Iran because they, they know it, that Iran has a concern of the Shia members in Pakistan and they want to jeopardize ties between uh, Pakistan and Iran at a time when Pakistan has been opposing, recognizing Israel at a time when other Arab countries are uh, recognizing Israel. So this is a, the timing is a very, very crucial mm -hmm. and everybody knows in whose hand Daesh terrorists have been playing in Afghanistan, in Pakistan. These are the hired gun which any country can hire. And unfortunately, this time around, we have again seen that they, they have been hired. Either it is India mm -hmm. or it is Israel, but certainly the external dimension of this terrorist act is very clear. Okay, Javed, also uh, let our viewers know uh, regarding the demands that the Hazara community members have of the Pakistani government. Has the government shown any reaction or promise to do anything for them? Well, I think there are some of the demands which government obviously cannot fulfill, like getting hold of these terrorists is not something which, is, which can government immediately do. That is something easier said than done. There are sleeper cells, terrorist groups, they have the hideouts across Pakistan, but certainly government would crack down on them. Uh, that is a very difficult demand to, uh, to be met immediately. But I think it is not a difficult for the Prime Minister of Pakistan to go there, see those, uh, uh, those families and give them assurance the, their third demand about the resignation of the provincial government, I think that government has already flatly refused that it is not going to happen. And even if the government resigned for the sake of the arguments, I don't think this is going to resolve the problem. It has a bigger dimension. It has a regional dimension. Mm -hmm. there, are, there are countries uh, which are all out to derail relation between Pakistan and Iran. Uh, there are countries which want to stoke sectarian violence in Pakistan. I think that is a bigger picture and until unless issues linked with that broader picture are resolved, unfortunately, incidents like these would keep on happening.